Hello guys, how are you? Today I'm going to show you how to uh, configure the auto login on the registry, which is really helpful and you can use it on all the all the windows. So it doesn't matter from Windows 2000 to 10, doesn't matter. It's gonna work on all of them. So let's test it. As you can see on this machine, on the on this virtual machine, already uh, under this Windows 10, I have the, the the username has the password. So let's test it. So first, go to the registry, open the run. The shortcut is uh, Windows key and R. So type regedit. Press OK, uh, press yes to confirm that. Okay, so let me show you first on here. First, go to the local machine, and after that, software, then Microsoft. After that, find Windows NT. Yep, after Windows NT current version, so it's only one folder on it, open the current version and after that Windows log on, Win log on, sorry, Win log on, yeah, yeah. So at first also admin log on, open it and change the value to 1, press OK. After that find the default username. The default username to that username gonna log in automatically. So I have only one username on this machine on this Windows. So that name is Andrew. If you have the if you want to change it to something else, so different username, uh, change it from here. Or if you don't know your username, you can find it on the control panel or uh, from dust command. On the run, type cmd. This is your username. Okay, and uh, that's good. Then we need to create new. Let's, let me copy this one. Okay, new a string value. Call it default password without any space and on the value type your password press ok done let's test it we put the you reboot your computer press restart it might take time just like pause the video windows is start to putting up so you might you think why we should use the auto login. Sometimes we need it for the sum of the computers. Uh, we need to set up the auto login. I know about the security, but uh, sometimes we have to do that. And uh, you're not allowed to, sh to share the password with everyone. So it's better you set up the auto login. Uh, that's really helpful on the some cases actually. That's really helpful. For example, when you're setting up the accused for the fingerprint or the time uh, for the actual stuff, so you need to set up the auto login. So if for any reason the that accused is uh, shut off and um, just a person turn it on, so that's really easy so the windows is auto, auto login it's come up and after that you set up the data application to uh on the startup it's it's really useful on the, some cases so on this time it should ask me a password but yeah without any password it's the windows is locked on thank you very much for watching this video if you have any question, please feel free to send me a message, a message 
or uh, send me an email to Andrew Rosen 20 Andrew that Rosen 2020 at gmail.com or Andrew that Rosen at outlook.com Andrew me at Andrew Rosen that me thank you very very much for watching this video see you soon follow the with the next video thank you